I got some people been asking me to uh, show how I play on the Desert Isle from uh, Gombugaloo record. I've been hesitating to uh, make a video of it just because uh, mm, tons of little passing chords in that in the tune. I've never tried to think of what they're called. So uh, it's a bit annoying to uh, show it. I just kind of made it up by hearing the melodies in my head and making up little things, but I, I, I didn't consciously uh, think of what, what the chord names were. The basic thing is pretty straightforward. It's out of C. Um, and there's not tons of chords, but it has all these little parts and funny things and stuff like that. So I guess I just have to show you where I play it. And uh, it probably has real simple names and stuff like that. Lots of it's just little slurring things and stuff. I use the whammy bar a lot. So if you got one of them, that'd be good. But uh, you don't need it. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Do that, you could just go. That might sound better. So, uh, on a desert isle, uh, yeah, out of sea, I, I sort of tried to uh, mimic a Hawaiian -y sort of sound a bit when I was uh, fooling with my jazz master, and you know, he got into using the whammy bar. So, that was sort of this tune was something. Heaps of fun doing that. So it starts up on this C chord here, the little note of one on the eighth fret. What do you call this? I'm already lost. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. Well, let's have a look at it. Yeah, it looks like an F shape, so it must be a... Ah, what is it? E minor? Yeah, there you go. Ah, because what happened when I slow shit down, I can't, uh... I can't remember what I play. I just sort of do it music. Okay, so this is just barring in um, these two. And <laughs> it's going to be a long video. F. That's a diminished chord. I don't know what you want to call it. Call the F diminished. Back to the C. This is the front of it. Let's do it again. So A minor. Diminished chord. C. Then we got this little one here. A bar on the G and B string. I bet it's got a real simple name. goes down three frets except any of these when I'm playing them with a whammy bar I whammy the the first move and then I smear it back up into the last chord so instead of going I go so that second position is just only by way of the whammy bar Let's see what we got so far. <laughs> we really gonna break it all down? <laughs> Uh, 
what you want to call that. shaped cowboy chord but the last one like that <laughs> you lost yet I am It's up here on the A, D, and G string. Okay, that's the first bunch of chords. Then we got this here. Uh, seventh fret, fifth fret, fourth fret. And I do my same move I did before, which I do a lot in this song. the semitone with the whammy bar and then bring that back up two frets down C chord and I hit that low G and then G7. Next, back onto the C again. Same as before. seven chord you know like a cowboy shape I'm playing a little run over it to the a famous C on the eighth fret in the old E shape thing you want to see that a uh, bit again so this bit from uh, the lifting of the spider Oh, Buckley's, oh, 
I seen something old way. Then they got a little run. That's with the whammy that first night. And one more in the 
silence broke. And be set by sea, high horned and wave, high wind. To find no remnants of that paradise, what laid about me were chains, unfriendly land. From beyond the compass reach, I sing this song of water new. This survive is just like the uh, chorus. But there's a bit here. Woman dragging them out on that swollen tide. show you these little chords I run up in the chorus. Let's just do the chorus real quick. Everything else, you know, you can just fool around with it. Uh, just uh, the chorus. All the desert eyes as if I do, you know, old name bass. Here I sing only it's like a diminished shape. It would be a diminished chord down there, but it's up a string, so his name becomes mysterious to me. And this uh, B string's walking around, you know? But does he do that? I could be fooling myself. Let's see. Here I sing. Leo. I think I play another chord there. <laughs> yes, I am. That second bit is not walking on the B string. He's walking, in fact, on the G string in this chord. Can you see where I'm at? 8th fret, ninth fret, 7th fret, 7th fret going to the 10th, so we got our, and then this is a, it's a C but I'm playing it, you know, with the, with the third there instead of uh, with the fifth as a normal bar chord, it's like this. do this. Walk it back down to the third of the C chord there. Uh, you know. So this chord is just there, you know, fourth fret, second. With that going on underneath it. Mm -hmm. 
as I said, mm, not a very fun one to teach because I don't know what anything's called.